Question 13, we have parametric equations and it looks like we are differentiating them. Lovely. Okay. And they're trig ones as well. How exciting. Um, to find dy by dx, we must differentiate the y first with respect to t. And that's going to give me 2 root 3, because the 2 is going to come out of the input. Cos differentiates to minus sign. Just like that. And that's over the derivative of x, which is going to be just 2, um, again, minus sign. OK, I'm not going to um, simplify it. I mean, I, I will simplify it S just slightly. But I don't need to. So just ask me to work out dy by dx. Okay. Um, uh, oh, I'm just I'm just too too much of a, a good guy. I will simplify it even further. Sine two t is two cos t sine t. So the sine t's will cancel. So it's two root three cos t. Uh, part b. The point p lies on c where t is equal to this. The line L is normal at P. Show that the equation for the line L is this. Okay, so we're going to need a couple of things here. We're going to need the X and the Y coordinates of uh, when the T is equal to that. Um, so we will do that. We will type in 2 pi over 3 equals... And I will do 2 cos of that. And I get minus 1. Um, I'll then delete that line. And I will do root 3 multiplied by cos of two lots of the answer. And I'll get minus root 3 over 2. OK. And then I will also need to sub it into the gradient as well. So I will press delete line. And I will sub into 2 root 3 cos of the answer. And I'll get minus root 3. OK, so the normal gradient is a negative reciprocal. So that's 1 over root 3. Right, I've got all my tools now. So the equation of a line is y minus y1. So minus minus makes plus. And then... That's equal to m, which is the gradient of the normal, over uh, x minus the x value is minus 1, so plus 1. OK, great. Um, I'm going to multiply through by 2 root 3, because I can see the y is um, 2 root 3. So times it by 2 gets rid of the, the 2 on the bottom. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. The root 3 will cancel, and I'll also need to times root by 2. So I get 2x plus 2. And I want to bring it all over to the right-hand side, such that I get 2x minus 2 root 3y, and then minus 1, as required. The line L intersects the curve C again at the point Q. Find the exact coordinates of Q. OK, um, so it intersects again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a simultaneous equation with the curve and the line. And the best way of me doing that is by subbing these two 
into here. So for part C, I get 0 is equal to 2 lots of the x, which was 2 cos t. Uh, so that makes 4 cos t. Minus 2 root 3 times by the y, which is root 3 cos 2t. Minus 1 okay simplifying this somewhat this gives me minus 6 and cos 2t um, we should know from our double angle is 2 cos squared t minus 1 so that's helpful because now we're all in terms of cos t this is minus 12 cos squared t and this is going to be plus 6 minus 1 is plus 5. Tidying up a bit more, multiplying through by negative 1 gives me this. Going to be lazy, go to my calculator to solve this quadratic. Okay, 5 over 6, so I get cos t is equal to 5 over 6, and cos t is equal to minus 1 half. Okay, um, let's remind ourselves which was the one which we've just found. The point P, x equaled minus 1. So that means that 2 cos t equaled minus 1, so cos t equaled minus a half. So that was the point P. So I don't want that one. I want this one. This is the new point, point Q. What's the x value then? Well, we know the x value is 2 cos t. So the x value is 2 times 5 over 6 which is 5 over 3. And then what about the y value? Um, okay, the y value is equal to root 3 cos 2t. So y value is equal to root 3 cos 2t which is equal to root 3, 2 cos squared t minus 1, again using the double angle formula. And we know what cos squared, what cos t is. It's 5 over 6. So this is what I need to put into my calculator. So we will do 5 over 6 um, squared and not the best way of doing this, apologies. Um, let's do two lots of it. Minus 1, 7 over 18 times by root 3. So that's 7 over 18 root 3. So I believe that answers the question. Yeah, the exact coordinates of Q. 5 over 3, 7 over 18 root 3 beautiful tell me that wasn't good I don't want to hear it